Hey Popcorn Junkies, another great big exciting film for the new year. Civil War. No, not Captain America, not Civil War Captain America, not Winter Soldier, none of that shit. This is Alex Garland's new film. Now, if any of you are movie fans, you'll know Alex Garland. Well, before his films that he's directed, Alex Garland's filmography, if you like, or if his, his bibliography. Uh, he was responsible for writing 28 Days Later, Sunshine, films directed by Danny Boyle. Um, he was an uncredited writer on 28 Weeks Later. Uh, he was a writer and an uncredited director on the movie Dread, which I thought was really good. But then his first film, fully directed, acknowledged as a director, was Ex Machina, the film that starred Alicia Vikander and Dominic Gleeson, Dominic Gleeson and uh, Oscar Isaac, brilliant AI, the sort of Turing test and the idea of falling in love. And it was it was sci-fi, it was moody, it was, it was psychopathy, it was about relationships, it was about what it means to love and about what it means to connect as much as what it was about in terms of AI. It was a sensation unsettling, stylish, slick, economically made, brilliantly performed movie. If you haven't seen Ex Machina, it's definitely up there as one of my favourite films of all time. He then went on to make the sci-fi, psychological, sort of epic book adaptation of Annihilation. Kind of mixed results, astonishing visuals, astonishing soundtrack. Um, yeah, starred Jennifer Jason Lee. I think Natalie Portman was in there too. He then made Men, which again, for me, it, Jesse Buckley was in there, brilliant. And uh, Rory Kinnear was in there too, playing many sort of iterations of really malevolent, horrible men. It was a sort of horror film about men, if you like, what it means to be a man. Uh, quite psychological, quite unsettling, incredibly visceral. Papa Esiedo was in there too. Um, and that kind of worked in so many ways, but also didn't work in so many other ways. But this new film, Civil War, this is a film um, quite well, it's, a, it's another A24 produced film. Uh, and this film is uh, set in the not too distant future. Not surprisingly, a near future civil war has broken out. It stars Kirsten Dunst as a reporter, a uh, sort of a family, if you like. She's part of a family travelling across a dystopian, smashed up, destroyed landscape. I'm getting Cormac McCarthy vibes of the road. I'm getting The Last of Us, but maybe without zombies. And I think this possibly speaks to the idea that the uh, that, that wonderful documentary, what was it, the one about the, the social dilemma, that documentary, The Social Dilemma, I don't know if you remember, and within it there were certain experts who'd worked for Instagram, worked for Apple and their theories and worries about the way in which social media was going to destroy society was that eventually it would result in a civil war and I wonder whether this is this is going to play to or speak to that um so this this promises to be something kind of intriguing and interesting now nothing he does isn't interesting but I'm also wondering whether we're going to be getting a sort of 28 days later type feel here you know apocalyptic dystopian all that kind of stuff what can he do that makes this different what will he bring to this that gives it a sort of an intelligence that perhaps is lacking from you know certain other well that's not true actually most I mean, I think The Walking Dead became a bit repetitive, but you know, it's always rich pickings, isn't it? A sort of civilization that's been shattered. And so I'm kind of hoping that this is perhaps not about something spectacularly sci fi that's happened, but this is just about civil breakdown. 19 states have seceded. The United States Army ramps up activity. The White House issued warnings to the Western forces as well as the Florida Alliance. The three term president assures the uprising will be dealt with swiftly. Let me know if you want to try anything on. I guess I'm aware it's like a Pretty huge civil war going on all across America. We just try to stay out with what we see on the news. Seems like it's for the best. Citizens of America, the so-called Western forces of Texas and California have suffered a very great defeat at the hands of the United States military. Mr. President, do you regret the use of airstrikes against American citizens? You're moving to DC today. You need to go down there. They shoot journalists on sight in the Capitol. Every instinct in me says this is death. Bloody. Every time I survived the war zone, I thought I was sending a warning home. Don't do this. But here we are. There's some kind of misunderstanding here. What? Well, you're American, okay? Okay. What kind of American are you? You don't know? <laughs> the Western forces will reach the White House on July 4th. Oh my God. Get in the car! Get in the car! You're gonna hang back. I'm not hanging back. One nation under God. Indivisible. 
with liberty and justice for all. Go, 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 go. God bless America. Okay, I'm in. I'm getting my ticket. I'm in. You've got me. The Jesse Plemons moment with the red glasses, I hate to say it, a little bit like these. You're an American? What kind of American are you? That speaks to the very heart of what this is about. This is one of those films that I think is very much about trying to, not predict, but it's pointing towards a future that could very easily be here sooner than we think. Uh, and also, I was reading somewhere about this idea that most empires, it did say in the graphics there, the fall of an empire, most empires have roughly, I mean, this is a sort of very rough yard, yard arm kind of measurement, um, but uh, 250 years, right? So what, could this be the way in which, could the way in which America falls apart, be, could, the, could the DNA of that be parked in the whole Capitol Hill rising? Donald Trump, the division of sort of society in America, the Texans versus, you know, so the Deep South versus the kind of more sort of liberal elite, if you like, on the West Coast and the East Coast and all that kind of stuff. Is this is this how it could play out? Is this why it will play out? And I think when you do a film like this or make a film like this and you play to the strength that it's not about zombies and it's not about other or aliens or anything like that, but it's actually about humans. Suddenly the human interest stories become very powerful. But for me, it was that moment with Jesse Plemons. That was the moment I got invested in that. It was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be deeply disturbing and unsettling. And this is where you could argue the whole immigration, global immigration crisis that is only gonna get worse in the coming years. This is where it's all gonna head. I mean, you may be able to just say, stop letting people in. Uh, and you may be able to stop letting people in, but where do they go? And what happens next? And is this is that what this film is about? I'm in. I'm invested. Are you? <laughs>